Today we are looking at ferro resonance in power distribution systems. Let me start by noting that ferro resonance is a major power quality problem that is often characterized by distortions in voltage and currents. I am referring to harmonic distortions relative to current and voltage. Now, to control harmonic emission levels in power distribution systems, we have IEEE standard 519. Unfortunately, in the presence of ferro resonance, the limits are pushed well beyond the standard. It's also important for us to recognize that ferro resonance is associated with high voltage and current that can cause damage to power distribution components. The phenomenon is nonlinear and very complex in nature, making it difficult to predict its occurrence. As a result, there has been extensive study to characterize and understand the behavior of the phenomenon. Unfortunately, it continues to destroy power distribution components. Now, to understand uh, ferro resonance, let me say here that ferro resonance simply means a nonlinear resonance. So we have nonlinear resonance and linear resonance. So to understand ferro resonance, which is a nonlinear resonance, let us start by looking at resonance in a very simple AC circuit. Now, figure one, we have A and B, where A is a representation of a very simple AC circuit with a source and a load. The source is set at a voltage 220 volts. And then load, we have the inductor and then the capacitor. So in a linear circuit where we don't have a resonance, we expect the, the source voltage to be equal to a voltage across the, the load. And that is what is represented by B. But to understand resonance, let us understand the word or the term uh, natural frequency. So where we have the inductor and the capacitor, to find the natural frequency of this circuit, it is given by the relation F equal to 1 over 2 pi square root L and C. So once we know the natural frequency by this relation, it is easy for us to simulate uh, a resonance. So that is what we want to do. We will we'll simulate a resonance in a linear circuit, and then it becomes very easy when we go and look at resonance in a nonlinear circuit, which in this case is a ferro resonance. So in a case of linear resonance, what we need to do is that we need to estimate the natural frequency of the circuit, which here we are assuming that the, the, the natural frequency by this relation, let's say we are getting 500 hertz. So the 500 hertz, what we need to do is that we need to uh, inject the circuits eh, with the 500 hertz. So we are going to get external 